Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if you are new here, welcome. Um, it is Sunday, November 21st right now, about 3.40 in the afternoon. Um, I'm just bringing you a quick grocery haul. Most of this is from Superstore. A couple things are things I picked up yesterday as well. Uh, yesterday on Saturday I had a church membership class in the morning at my church, and then I spent the day out Christmas shopping with a friend of mine. I don't know if I will bother trying to get into all the different things I bought on my Christmas shopping excursion, only because I don't know if my family might happen to tune in and watch this video. But I will show you a few things, like just grocery item wise, that I did pick up yesterday. But primarily, right now, what I did today is I went to church and then I went to Superstore and got some items, some grocery items there. So I will show you what I got today from a Superstore mainly. And then maybe I might highlight a couple things I picked up yesterday. So let me turn you around and we'll get started. Alrighty, so I got four liters of 1% milk. I was out. Actually, there was a little bit left in my other jug, but it was expired, so I had to get a new one. We got some eggnog today. Um, I am actually planning on having a handful of friends over on Saturday, December 4th. So just under two weeks from now, because today is Sunday, November 21st. So two weekends from now, Saturday, December 4th. And one of the things I want to make is eggnog cheesecake. I have not made it before, but I have a recipe for it. It sounds really good and relatively easy, so I think I'm going to make that. And... The expiry date on the eggnog is not till December 8th. So now, I mean, between now and then, we may well drink the eggnog and it might be gone, in which case I'll have to get more eggnog for that. But that's totally fine. Um, you know, if, if for some reason we don't drink it real fast and it's still sitting around by the 4th, then great. I can, I can use it up in the cheesecake. I do also, as I've mentioned in a few other previous videos, I want to make a banana, banana eggnog bread. I've made it a couple times before. And I'd like to film that and get that video up, but I haven't gotten around to it yet. Work has been crazy. So I'm hoping this coming week I work five days at the store and three days at the school. So I have Friday off this week, and that's about it other than today. Um, and then I'm, I work next Saturday afternoon. But I am off. Well, I'm off on Friday, but it's a day full of appointments. So I'm thinking like next Sunday, the 28th, is my soonest full day off. So I'm hoping maybe that day to finally get started on the Christmas baking. Maybe some banana eggnog bread and probably some shortbread cookies. Although I can also do some baking throughout this week too a little bit. I've got to get going on it because I can't wait and start my Christmas baking a week from now because that'll be less than a week until our gathering on December 4th, which I'm just realizing as I'm thinking aloud while I'm talking to you guys. So I've got to find some time, maybe on my day off on Friday, I've got a hair appointment that day and a um, doctor appointment, but I think maybe after that I'll have to get some baking going and possibly some evenings this week too once I get home from work, depending on my shifts. Just thinking out loud, but I'm like, oh yeah, that's less than two weeks from now. And if I don't, if I wait a whole solid week to start baking, that's going to be a problem because that'll leave me less than a week to get busy. Anyway, eggnog and 1% milk. Now for the gathering, I want to make a Christmas punch that I've made before. I don't need this much cranberry ginger ale, but I know when my daughter sees the bottles of this cranberry ginger ale, she's going to want to start drinking it. So I am going to put aside two of these bottles for the punch that I need. Um, that punch that I make at Christmas, you have to put, you take out, I put, use my big punch bowl and you put um, some raspberry sherbet in the middle and then you get some cans of frozen raspberry juice, which I'm having trouble finding, but you find that or else if, if all else fails, I guess you can get some like frozen fruit punch or frozen berry punch or something. Add that to the sherbet and use cranberry or raspberry ginger ale. I haven't seen the raspberry ginger ale so much, but cranberry ginger ale will work. And then you also hang candy canes along the side of the punch bowl. So the dipping, they're hanging in the punch and they're kind of dissolving in. So it gives it a little bit of a minty flavor. So you've kind of got the raspberry sherbet, the raspberry juice, and then the cranberry ginger ale all in there. And you could even put some raspberries in or cranberries floating around if you wanted. And then with the candy canes hanging inside the punch bowl, kind of slowly dissolving into the punch, it gives it a little minty taste. So I'm wanting to make that punch for our December 4th gathering. But as I said, I'll probably just use two bottles for that. The other two are simply because I know when my daughter spots the cranberry ginger ale, she's going to want to start drinking it right away. And if I let her do that, she'll, you know, the four bottles will be gone in no time. Um, trying to find on here on this side... Milk, 1% milk is four sixty five. The, oh my goodness, cranberry ginger ale, they were 99 cents each, which is why I didn't worry about getting a name brand. These are President's Choice brand. President's Choice, the PC, that's the store brand, as are the no-name brand, like of the cheese here, the yellow packaging with the black bar that says no-name. Both of those are store brands. So I didn't really find two liters of the name brand of cran cranberry ginger ale right now at least in Superstore. I'm pretty sure I've seen them in my store, but I didn't want to stop there today. So I just thought I would grab this because I've had this before too, and it's just as good as the name brand. 
Now, I did get two blocks of cheese, um, an old cheddar and a marble. Uh, those were on my offers. Nothing else so far has been on my offers. The, the President's Choice Pop is not on my offers. The eggnog is not on my offers. Uh, the cheese was... Oh, let me find it. Uh, $8.49 a piece. So they were not on sale, really, but can always use marble. And I'm thinking I might hold on to the, ch the old for that evening when we have everybody over. President's Choice or PC brand spring water. That was on my offer, so I got a case of that. And that was... Oh, where is it? I didn't have to hold that up, thankfully. They had, they just, they had a code for it. $2.99. Thankfully, I didn't have to lift that up. Now, the crust for the eggnog cheesecake calls for ginger snaps. Now, I do make my own ginger snap cookies to eat just from scratch, but to simply make them and then crush them again to make them into a crust, no, I'm not going to do that. So I just bought a quick uh, box of ready-made ginger snaps that I can crush up to make into the crust I need for the cheesecake. That's the President's Choice brand again, and they were $2.49 for that. And then I got two cans of evaporated milk. One is for Christmas time to use in pumpkin pie. And the other one, it's not for the, I look, I'm looking quickly at the eggnog cheesecake recipe back there, and I don't see evaporated milk on that that I can see. I'm, I think it's for something else that's baking related this Christmas. I just can't remember what. But even if I don't use both of them at Christmas, they have a pretty good shelf life on them. They'll last. So, but one is for pumpkin pie at Christmas, and the other one is for another Christmas recipe. I just can't remember which one offhand. I got some cream cheese. Um, what I want to do, the eggnog cheesecake takes four blocks of cream cheese, and I want to make a taco dip that night, which takes one block, and I'd like to make some mini cheesecakes, and that also takes a block. Now, the no-name brand, again with the no-name, that was, I believe they were on for $2 a piece. However, you, there was a limit of two. So I didn't want to have to make like a separate purchase or come back later in the week just for that. So I got four, four blocks of Philadelphia. They were $3 a piece, I believe. I think they were, yeah, they were $3 a piece um, with no limit, but uh, I, if there would have been the option to buy them all as no name brand, I would have. I just, you know, there was a limit of two on those. So I just went with four blocks of these. That'll be for the eggnog cheesecake and these guys. One will be for the taco dip and one will be for the mini cheesecakes. And then a can of sweetened condensed milk. And that is for a recipe I make at Christmas called turtle tarts. They're little tarts with kind of a pecan filling, um, like pecans on the bottom, kind of a it's very sweet custardy type filling and then you put melted chocolate on top of them and some pecan bits on top and they're supposed to resemble like the chocolates turtles that you can buy in boxes i mean i don't know in the u.s if you guys have turtles there to buy i'm i'm not sure if it's just a canadian thing or not but however it is something that we we definitely get here i don't know if in the u.s you get turtles or not if you do not you may not know what i'm talking about but just google it turtles are like a they're a chocolate covered they're chocolate but they have like a kind of a pecan very sweet but pecan filling so like pecans inside them but very sweet filling so these tarts are meant to be the same type by type of idea and I also picked up a bunch of bananas not on my offers but we are almost out celery they were $1.98 each um, and I got two they were on my offers last week and I tried to get them last week but the store was out at that time so I could not get them then so I just picked them up today I grabbed two and then one thing that was on my offers today were mushrooms, President's Choice brand container of mushrooms, so I got a pack of those. Uh, one thing I do like to do with those is cut those up and slice up farmer sausage and cut up potatoes and season those and put them all together on a sheet pan in the oven and bake them all together. So sliced up mushrooms and sliced farmer sausage and uh, diced up potatoes, tossed in some nice seasonings, bake them in the oven. It's really good. I especially like the mushrooms with those. Just one second, I'm going to have to rearrange something here, and I will be right back to finish this video. One moment, please. Okay, okay, I am back. Had to rearrange a couple things on the other counter. I'm just falling a bit behind on housework. I've been doing a lot of work this last week. I worked four days at the store last week and three days at the school, and this week I've got five days ahead at the store and three days at the school, so I'm just behind on laundry, behind on cleaning, behind on everything. Anyway, so I was explaining to you guys about the cream cheese, uh, maybe I could have done a separate order and just bought two more blocks of cream cheese separate and got the $2 on those and then just only had to pay $3 each for those, for two of those instead of four, but whatever. It's just I wasn't about to try and make multiple orders just to try and do that, nor am I going to waste gas to go back on a separate day just for cream cheese. Although when I work at the school, I'm very close to Superstore, so it wouldn't be much in the way of gas, but I just thought, ah, just get it over with. It's just, I bought the two at $2 and four at $3. And then, like I said, bananas not on my offers, but we're out. Celery, 
was on my offers last week, couldn't get it. It was completely out at the store. Today I got two, not on my offers anymore, but they were $1.98 each, which is quite a good price right now. They're usually more. And the mushrooms are on my offers right now. Got those because I do like them chopped up with farmer sausage cut up and potatoes diced up and baked them on a sheet pan, tossed in some spices. It's a very good, easy meal, fairly easy meal. You don't even really have to peel the potatoes for that. So the biggest thing is just cutting the potatoes and dicing up the mushrooms and the same thing with the meat and tossing them in, a, in seasoning and then put them in the oven. It's quite simple. And then over here, no name, no name brand potato chips were on my offer. So I got two bags of Ripple, two bags of barbecue, two bags of ketchup, and one bag of spicy barbecue to try. So they were a dollar a piece. The celery was $1.98 each. And the mushrooms, I think, I want to say $3.88 for those. So not too bad. Bananas, how much were they? They're 66 cents a pound for bananas. Um, where are they? Where are my bananas? They weren't free. They're on here somewhere. Banana, $1.59. Okay. So, anyway, what I spent was $76.43, and for a total of $77.76. For the chips, I got 700 points, no-name cheese, 2,400 points, mushrooms, 400 points, and 200 points for the bottled water. That meant that I got, oh, where's my breakdown here? I earned 3,700 points today, which left me with a closing balance of 121,729 points, which means I am now sitting at the $120 increment, $120, $120 points level. So you can redeem for it um, in increments of $10 in Superstore for groceries. So I now have $120 I can use. I've been trying to use Save Them Up for Christmas. So probably like this week when I get paid later this week, I will probably pick up some more groceries. I don't think I'll redeem anything then, but probably two weeks later at the mid-December pay when I need to buy any last minute Christmas stuff, that's when I'll probably use those points towards groceries. Now here's what I did pick up yesterday at Walmart. Um, aside from a Aside from a game for my daughter, I bought an electronics department. This is something I bought. I didn't buy any regular Hershey Kisses, which I usually do. These ones are just the hugs or the striped ones. Like they have stripes and then the filling inside. These candy cane ones. I made a recipe last year for a Christmas cookie that um, it's like a peppermint type cookie with the, with the peppermint, like the candy cane uh, kisses on top. So I'm primarily going to use those for that. The cookies and cream one, just because I like them. And the hot cocoa ones too, same thing, just because I like them. Um, the other recipe I have, it's for a cookie, I'm trying to remember which one it is. I'm picturing it. I'm not sure if it's a latte cookie. I think it's a, what they call a latte cookie. So it's kind of got some coffee powder in it. And that one is the one where I put regular Hershey Kiss on top of it. So that I need just regular Hershey Kisses for. Or I could use the hugs for something different. That's totally fine too. But I'm probably just going to put the hot cocoa ones, maybe the cookies and cream ones out in candy dishes. And I'll either get some regular ones for the cookies or else I'll use the hug one on top. And then the candy cane ones, I like having them in the candy dishes too, but I do, I do want to make those cookies that are like a peppermint candy cane type cookie and put those on top as well. And then I also stopped in next door, well, close to uh, close to Walmart. Where I, Walmart's where I got the Hershey Kisses yesterday. And not too far from there, I stopped in and got some gumdrops at Bulk Barn. I don't have my receipt handy to tell you exactly how much I spent, but these are for... I believe some of these go in my recipe for nougat. Well, actually, my daughter made it last year. I haven't made it yet, but it's quite simple, so I think I'm going to try and make it. And I believe it's these baking wine gums, or not wine gums, gumdrops, rather, baking gumdrops that go in there. But as well, they also go, I have a recipe for a uh, gumdrop loaf that I make at Christmas, and it's just very colorful. You can cut these in half, but actually, I don't usually bother because they're quite, they're not the easiest to cut. Like, they're not bad, but it's a bit tedious because they're kind of sticky, so it's like... It's sometimes better just to leave them whole and you know let the stand mixer do its job the stand mixer can maybe break them down a little bit or even if they're whole in the loaf it's not the end of the world if i can cut them in half i will but i'm not going to stress myself out and spend hours like trying to tediously cut every gumdrop in half so these are going to go in nougat and also in a gumdrop loaf which i think makes a batch of two loaves you could do the gumdrop loaf in a cake pan or a bundt pan as well but i usually just do it in two loaf pans and then i got some milk chocolate and white chocolate melting wafers so that I can make some homemade chocolates. I haven't made those in years. I have some chocolate molds for like Santa shape or snowman shape, and I haven't made homemade chocolates in years. Usually with all the other Christmas baking I do, I don't get time to get them done. 
but I kind of like to get back in it. And I don't think I have that much more time this year than I normally, than I have had in previous years, but I'm going to try and get back into it again, again, because I haven't done it in a long time. So I'm planning on digging out my chocolate molds and making some chocolates. Excuse the background noise. Somebody has a, a podcast going on a radio very loud. Um, and then I also stopped in at Petland, got some bubblegum. Well, they, well, they, they say bubblegum pellets for the birds. They actually, I don't know if they taste like them or not because they're bird pellets and I haven't tasted them, but they smell like bubblegum. I've already put those away and so those are gone, but grabbed some Timothy hay for our rabbit and also some rabbit pellets. Usually I buy the Living World Extrusion rabbit pellets. Excuse the random cheerio here for my daughter's breakfast that she didn't throw out. Um, but they have been out of the Living World Extrusion pellets. They have them in bags, but they're, the bags are tiny. They're like not cost effective at all. So these look very similar to those. I, I usually prefer to buy the Living World Extrusion pellets in bulk, but they've been out of them in bulk for quite a while. I hate changing up his diet because it's like any animal. They should be on the same diet and don't change it too, too often. But he needs something. And this looks to be pretty similar, so I grabbed him a bag of that. And I believe between the bubblegum pellets for the birds and that and the Timothy hay, I believe I paid about $55 at Petland yesterday. And then at Bulk Barn for the gumdrops and the chocolate melting wafers, I think it was around $16.00. These guys at Walmart, I want to say they were around $3.97 or so a bag. And I think there was one other thing I picked up that I don't have out here right now. And I just can't think what it was. I mean, there's my daughter's Christmas gift that I got in electronics. But there was also something else I bought along with these Hershey Kisses at Walmart. I can't think what it was. But I didn't spend a ton at Walmart other than the fact that I did buy a gift in electronics. That part it was like almost $90 after cash, after tax. But these, the grocery type items, I only bought these and one or two other small things and it wasn't too, too much. So anyway, so that's basically what I did. What I, did. I don't really want to go through and um, show you all the rest of the Christmas shopping I did yesterday at various stores. Only because I don't know if my family will tune in to this. I'm hoping that they do not. They don't usually watch my videos, I don't think. But I did go to the Jet Skier store and got my husband something there. For Christmas and went to the Kohl's bookstore and got a couple of things there and just yeah and I got myself two tops yesterday at Ricky's and a t-shirt for my daughter as well at Ricky's um, for Christmas that she could probably use as like a sleep shirt to wear with sleep pants and I went into HomeSense yesterday but I did not buy any decor items nothing for me it was actually a Christmas gift yesterday that I bought I stayed away from the de decor part of HomeSense yesterday which is a miracle because I'm kind of a HomeSense addict but at any rate, so that's kind of a summary of what I bought this weekend without showing you all the stuff I bought this weekend because, I, like I said, I just don't know if my family will tune in to this and see that, oh, you know, mom bought me this or whatever. So I'm not going to get into all the details of that. But this is primarily all this stuff over here right up until the end of the chips. That is what I bought today at Superstore. And that was the main focus of this video was my Superstore grocery haul. So... Again, I spent 70 odd dollars, I think about 75 or 76 after tax. No, 77, 76. And I am now, after earning over 3,000 points today, what is it, 3,700 I said? 37, yeah, I'm sitting at a, a little over 121,000 points. So I've earned, I'm at the $120 level of points. So I will probably be using those at the mid December pay for a grocery haul at that point for Christmas groceries. So that's where everything sits for right now. Now I've got to get the refrigerator stuff put away. And it's 4 o'clock in the afternoon. And I don't know if I want to... Do, I'm not going to start Christmas baking today. But there is definitely housework to be done. And I still don't know what's happening for supper tonight. So I need to get a plan together for that. But I do hope you enjoyed this little grocery haul video. I hope you enjoyed this. And if you did, please, of course, leave a comment down below and give this video a like. And definitely subscribe if you are new. And being that I get paid towards the end of this coming week, I will probably be doing a grocery uh, shopping trip, probably on my day off on Friday. So Friday, Saturday, somewhere in that range, there will probably be a grocery haul going up somewhere Friday, Saturday, Sunday, somewhere in that range. So definitely have your the notification bell on and keep an eye out for the next video. And let me know what other types of videos you'd like to see too, whether it be cooking, baking, whatever, because I do have things I'd like to film when I do my Christmas baking so let me know what you'd like to see and definitely leave a comment down below and let me know how your weekend has been. And I hope everybody has a great week. See you guys in the next video, everyone. Have a good week.